For yep. John Botit, the Portland area yep. businessman spent more than a year putting everything together for his yeah. dream project. Quite the, quite the spectacular place once we get it going. Yeah. This animation shows what it will look like when it eventually opens. It's called Shine, and it features a distillery making various types of hard alcohol and a restaurant with seating for more than 250. I'm using local purveyors for the uh, linen service. Uh, we've got a locally manufactured still. We're going to be buying from the local farms. This is going to be an Oregon distillery, full distillery restaurant. His small business administration loan totals nearly a million dollars. He's got a lot riding on this. And everything looked fine until the shutdown. Between the, the dream and funding and finding and putting it all together, it's finally, finally coming to fruition. Uh, started back in June of 2017. So to have a, a last minute uh, snag like this is not, not the optimal operation, but you know, I'll find a way around it, but it sure has, it's, it's causing me to lose sleep at night, that's for sure. He needs the Small Business Administration to approve releasing the final part of his SBA loan money so he can build out the inside. Every day I wake up and turn on the TV and go, please let them be done. Please let it say, you know, oh, government's opening again. This is not, uh, this, this having a ripple effect. You're, we're, we are all the little pawns here. He wants you to know the shutdown is hurting business. This is hurting us, not just some people from another country we're trying to prevent from coming here. It's hurting the ones that are here trying to do something. <sighs> I called the SBA and emailed them as well. We wanted to